Okay, I want to show how easy it can be to tie in your Express application into a MongoDB backend. And so we're going to do that using the MongoDB driver. And so uh, you should be familiar with this driver. It's on npmjs.com. If I search for MongoDB, you're going to see the official MongoDB driver for Node. And you can read about this um, driver, but basically we're going to install this first as a dependency. And so here is my uh, project that I'm working on, which is a running club website that this is something I'm doing all semester long. I'm going to go ahead and install MongoDB. And the next thing I want to do is I want to create a module, a JavaScript uh, file called database dot js and this is going to be where i uh, begin writing my database logic to tie into my database and so here up at the top i'm using uh, es module so i'm able to import mongodb uh, excuse me mongo client from mongodb and so then I'm going to declare a variable called underscore db and instantiate it to null. And I'm going to make a function, async function, called connect to database. That is totally fine. And I'm going to say if the database variable underscore db is not initialized if not underscore db. In other words, if you've already made this connection, don't make it twice. And so this is a singleton pattern. You're only instantiating the variable once or initializing it once. I'm going to get my connection string out of my .env file. So I'm going to say const connection string equals process.env and now I get to give it my variable name inside of my .env and so I will say db underscore url okay so now obviously I need to make a db url inside of my .env file and so you need to have a .env also installed uh, if you haven't done an npmi.env, go ahead and do that. I've already installed .env, and I have it configured um, in my index.js to uh, bring in these environment variables. And so since I'm calling this db url, let's make a db underscore url equal to. And this is where... Uh, I get to actually put in the Mongo connection string from, from the Mongo website. So here I'll go ahead and connect in mongodb.com. And sign in. And we're going to get our connection string from the website here. So go ahead and authenticate. You'll want to do the same. Now I have a database with nothing in it. Uh, I think there might be one collection. So if I kind of go to my databases here, here's my cluster zero. I can browse my collections. I can see my Belleville Running Club, and I've got a user collection, a yearly ranking collection, and a point collection. So here's my database. I've created this. There's nothing stored in it. Um, However, to connect to this, let me click on back to my overview. And when I click on overview, you can see connect. And here you see drivers. So connect to your application. I'm going to click on drivers. And here's my connection string. So add this connection string into your application code. So I'm going to copy this. And all I'm going to do is replace my password with my password that, that I have set up for my, Mongo, uh, for my Mongo database. And so I can copy this into my .env. 
and I'm going to type my password off the screen just because that is a sensitive piece of information. And I am noticing that just before I change that password, uh, some interesting color syntax going on here. Uh, we may, in fact, put that in the string and then change the password here. I think that's correct. I might need to change that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it needs to be in a string. So again, I'm going to delete that password and type my password. Kind of funny. I don't want to edit this, and I realize I think I just had my password on the screen. So it's fine. I can change said password that was on the screen, no problem. I'm going to have to do that before I put this online. Um, so, okay. So now I have a pull that back on screen. Now I have a connection string that should be read out of my .env. Uh, next up in my uh, method here, I'm going to make a db name. And I could pull that out of a variable called db name. Again, this sensitive piece of information needs to change. So I'm going to say db underscore name equals, I'm not worried about it at this point. Um, what did I call my database? I called my database Browse Collections Belleville Capital B Running Club Capital R Capital C. So we'll say Belleville Running Club. And now I make another variable passing it my connection string. I'll use the await syntax, mongo client connect. And I will pass connection string and my semicolon here. And then I'll set my underscore db variable equal to client db, passing it the db name. And then outside of my if statement here, we're going to return underscore db. Now, um, at the bottom of this file, I can export that method. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write a pinging method to test if it's working. So I'm going to write async function ping. and connect to my database. Which is correct. Connect to my database. I'm going to await a db.command ping of 1. And I'll do a console log ping database. And so if I export ping as well, um, okay, now we're ready to test it. Now, um, all you really have to do to get this ping to run is on your express server. My express server is really basic right now. Uh, I'm going to bring in import ping from database JS and that should be all I need to ping my database again I wouldn't be surprised to troubleshoot if I do npm run start script um, got an extra semi or extra curly right there we'll fix that up Okay, now um, let me close it because I probably actually just want to go ahead and call my ping method. And so right here, I'll go ahead and call ping um, right inside my database file. Okay, good. So we're at least getting an error message and it says it Connection string starts with MongoDB double slash. Let me troubleshoot that. All right, uh, fix the problem. Uh, to highlight the problem, notice I wrote a little console log. I was trying to read my 
connection string and my DB name, and they were coming back undefined. And so uh, my .env variables were not reading from that file correctly. So if I brought in my import here um, and uh, onto this database file, that's able now to read my variable names. And then I rerun my server, and not only am I able to connect to my database with the password that needs to change, but I'm able to ping my database. Um, and so, you know, a little bit of database logic in order to connect into that database, but now we are pinging and uh, we've, we've done it. We have connected uh, into a Mongo uh, Express application into, uh, excuse me, an Express application into a Mongo database.